Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll show you how to design WooCommerce product pages using free version of Elementor. So if you have a WordPress e-commerce store and you want to design custom product pages, single product pages, cart or even checkout pages, you can do it easily by watching this video. By the way, this was a request from one of my subscribers. So if you have a special request for a video, you can just write down your comment and I'll try to create a video about that topic. Now let's get started. The first thing you will need is an e-commerce store like this one. This is just a demo store. Let me visit its product page. So here you can see this is our product page with all the products, a sidebar with filter and products. And this page is also looking good but if you want to design your own page with your custom images, videos, text and you want to design it using Elementor, you can do it easily by watching this video. And if I open up a product page, by the way this is a product inquiry form that I have covered in my last video. Okay. So let's see how we can design this single product page, the cart page and checkout page using Elementor. And the first thing is we will need a simple free plugin. So just follow this link in the description which is softexport.fk slash shop engine and it will take you to this page. This is shop engine plugin. You can see fully customizable product page, single page, cart page and also checkout and thank you pages. And this is a lightweight sort of e-commerce for Elementor. Okay, You can scroll down, you can learn more about this plugin. You can see we can build a shop page just like this, a cart page, checkout page, my account page and so on. Then there are some modules like you can also design variables, you can give it a better look, you can have partial payments and you can design free order products using this plugin. And you can also display sales and forward notification like these, then product flash sales and so on. You can learn more about this plugin here on this page and if you want to download this, just scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on try for free, which will take you to the WordPress repository from where you can download this plugin. Just click on download. You will get a zip file like this. Now we just need to upload this to our WordPress. So we will be using this website and let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And to upload the plugin, we'll go to plugins. And before that, let me show you that we are only using free Elementor, okay? And to upload that plugin, just click on add new plugin. And then upload, choose file and select that plugin, install now and then activate it. And once you activate the plugin, you will see a new tab here which is shop engine. Just click on it and here you can do some basic settings for the plugin. So beside the functionality I mentioned, there are lots of modules you can see, quick view, switches like commerce variations, wishlist, product comparison and so on. And then we have some freemium features. If you are interested, you can just upgrade to the freemium version. And these are some widgets for the single product page. You can see product description, add to cart, breadcrumb, product categories and so on. You can enable and disable them by just marking them. Now these will be enabled. And this is for the archive page. So archive description, archive products, archive title, product per page, filter, product list, archive view and so on. This is for the cart page. So we will also enable these just to check them out. Okay. And then deal products filterable products and so on and then let's go to next tip just a welcome page so just go to next tip and then this will suggest you some more plugins from WP Met, Elements Kit and also Metform I have videos about these plugins also let's go to next tip and I'll go to next and that's it and this is how you can set up this plugin and now let's see how we can create a page so for that we will go to builder templates we don't have any template here so we will click on add new and here you can give the template a name and you can choose a type. So what type of template you want. If you want to create a single product page, you can select single. If you want to create archive page like the shop page, you can select archive, card page, checkout and quick view pages. Okay. For now, let's create a shop page first. So I'll click on archive and then we'll give it a name like custom shop page. Okay. Now you can use a blank template to design it or you can use its ready-made template which will look like this. Okay. So let's click on it. We will just use it and we can customize it. And then we'll click on edit with Elementor. And this will open up Elementor where we can customize this page further. Okay, you can see the page title and then breadcrumb. Then this is a product filter. And we have our products here. And on how you can see a quick view button, wish list, and also compare icon. And we also have this card button. This is not visible, but we will fix this later on. Now let's see how we can customize this page and make it our own. If you want to customize this header, you can just click on it and then go to style and here you can change this image. Okay, so we will use another image and let's say this one and we'll select it. Now you can see a different picture. You can also change the overlay here and that's it. If you want to change the title, you can just remove the 
grid and this is the search so if you click here you can see for the columns you can change one column two columns three columns and this is show category and search so if you want to show these categories you can just enable it show category drop down which is again this drop down and this is text for all categories this is the search icon and you can add text to search if you enable it you can write your custom text here okay and hide image from search so you can enable and disable it and you can also auto search components if you want to and then scroll down and you can click here and this is coming from archive result okay which is this search result same goes for this one you can see product per page filter okay let's scroll down and i edited these products so this is the layout you can manage the number of columns and rows from woocommerce customizer page okay so these are the number of columns and these are the rows vertically if you want to change the look you can go to content and here you can enable and disable things like flash cell page if you enable it you will see cell pages like this this is for the categories if you don't want to show categories you can disable it if you want to show product description you can enable it a rating which is this five star rating and then show regular prices which is this one footer and hour style a tooltip and so on and then this is the pagination so numeric and these arrows let's scroll down and here is the pagination if you want to change it you can do it custom ordering if you enable it you can custom order these products if you want to further customize the look you can go to style tab like the product container if you want to change the product container background you can do it like this okay let's pick this color and this is how you can customize it you can give it some border like solid dashed and so on this is the border color then the product gap which is this spacing if you want you can increase and decrease it just like this this is the box shadow and hour if you want to give this border some shadow and hour you can do it this is the row spacing which is this spacing the fading which is the spacing okay so if you change this to 10 you will see more spacing here and then the product image here you can do settings for the product image if you want to give it a custom height or background color you can do it okay and then for the categories here you can change the style of the category the style of the product here if you want to change its color you can do it here just like this and so on so in this way you can customize the product grid based on your need okay i'm not going in much detail i'm just showing you how you can design the pages using elementor for free so let's say this is fine and now let me show you how we can design a single page okay so i'll just update it and uh, we'll go to dashboard again now you can see this is not active yet but we can edit it and we can make it active okay so i'll edit it I'll activate it and save changes now this will be our product page let's also create a single product page okay so for that i'll click on add new and then again i'll give it a name so custom single product and we'll choose single here and we'll make it active and you can use these templates for your design okay so this will be the product image the title description the price head to cart compare and also wish list and you can add more text and images here okay you can choose any of these templates so let's say this is fine so i'll use this one okay this one looks good so i'll check this one and we'll edit this with elementor now the best part is you can design custom pages for each product separately if you want to design this to a specific product okay so here you can choose that product for example this one i'll choose this one and then we'll edit it with elementor again this will open up elementor where you can customize the product if you click here you can see this is the product title you can change it will take for it you can also align this to center right or left and you can also change the text color for example this one and you can also change the typography okay if you want to use some other font family like this so here you can customize the look of this product title then this is the product description you can see product excerpt again you can change the color typography and alignment this is the product price by the way these are dynamic values that will be coming from the products okay from the dashboard then this is the image which is the image gallery you can change this icon here and this is the badge which will be the sale badge okay then these are the review and description and if you want to further customize it and you want to add more things you can just do it by going to all elements and you will see number of elements from the general elements single product and so on and then you can see we can add custom add to cart product description product categories product images and so on now let's say i want to display related products here so for that i'll just drag this 
and you can see a product slider with related products and if you don't like it here you can just copy it and delete it from here scroll down create a new section for it then you can add a text like heading and I write related product we'll align this to center and then we'll paste those products and this is how you can display related products okay again you can click on it and then you can customize it if you don't want to enable slider you can disable it flash sale and so on these are the slider controls slider per page view so you can decrease and increase it you can go to advanced tab you can order them and so on and you can use any of these elements from this plugin for free okay so this is how you can design a custom product page now let's update it and let's check it out and we have a flat template on this product okay so i'll open it and you can see the product image the title the description the pricing and add to cart wishlist compare and so on and in the same way you can create cart page and checkout page let me show you quickly let's go to dashboard again and again we will go to builder templates and we will click on add new and here we can change it to cart page and we can write its title and this is how a cart page will look again you can customize it using elementor if you choose checkout here you can create checkout pages like these okay so using this plugin you can create no commerce products single product card page thank you page and checkout pages using free elementor i hope the video will be helpful for you again the plugin link is in the description and if you want to learn more about wallface elementor and woocommerce just follow my channel i have lots of videos about wallface and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next